Hey guys, what's going on? It's Anna from Lovely Lady Cakes, and I'm excited to be here on the Sweeten Channel coming into you live to make these delicious cream cheesy lime mints. Now, these are um, something that I happen to always see in a southern wedding. Do you guys ever have you ever had these before? Um, they're real soft in the middle because it's like cream cheese based and uh, you know, just minty, like a fun little mint, and it's just uh, a, like a family tradition. I feel like my family always would make these. My grandmother. Um, have you guys ever had one before? Give Christina some... says no. No, you've never tried it. Okay, this is honestly the easiest recipe, and super simple, and oh, it smells so good, and I typically, uh, it's just mint, but I wanted to bump it up a little bit, and so I added a little bit of lime zest in there and a little bit of lime juice. So, um, yeah, pretty excited. So Bailey asked, what is that? It's like a candy treat. Bailey, this is a mint, and it's like a southern mint that you would see like at weddings, or um, I'm sure you've seen them in a bag at a candy store, those little tiny uh, candy melt mints, and they just like melt in your mouth. And it's cream, cream cheese based and super simple. Who wants to learn how to make these? Thumbs up, stars. Getting what some thumbs up, yeah. yeah. Where are you guys watching from? I'm here in Texas today. It's very spring-like, so I thought how perfect to make something uh, with pastel, fun, light colors. You know, maybe you could put these in your little Easter eggs for your kids. They sit out for two to four hours, so they harden up, and um, you know, so they don't melt in your hand, only your mouth. Wait, that's Eminem's. <laughs> All right, so simple. A lot of sugar. I'm sorry. This one's a sugar recipe. <laughs> but I've got a KitchenAid with a paddle attachment. We're going to add cream cheese. You want this room temperature nice and soft. And um, we have people tuning in from Memphis. Hey guys from Memphis. Thanks Tennessee. For tuning Samantha's in. from Tennessee. Tony's from Mississippi. Hey Samantha. Sophia's Hi, from Morocco. Sophia from Morocco, that's amazing. Um, Simone's from Brazil. Hey guys, if you're just tuning in, we're making these cream cheese lime mints. They're kind of hard. They've been sitting out for two to four hours, so they kind of harden up, but inside it's really just nice and um, just gooey and delicious. But yeah, and if you guys don't know me, I'm Anna. I have a YouTube channel called Lovely Lady Cakes. And I make all kinds of desserts all the time. <laughs> so go find my page after you watch this. And I'm pretty sad to say that this is our last live event. How sad. So I think I'll be doing some live events on my lovely Lady Cakes page. Because I'll probably miss it. I've been doing it for almost two years now. Or a year and a half. Or... So. We, have, um, we have Austin. Stacy's from Austin. Jessica Butcher is from London. Wow. Amber's from Miami, tuning in, Fort Lauderdale. Cool. Hello, you guys. Thanks for watching. We're just, you know, making some candy melts today. They're really just, uh, like, not candy melts. They're mints. They're mints that go melt in your mouth. They're delicious. Cream cheese based. So, I've always seen these at a wedding, as I was saying. Where have you guys maybe had them before? Um, if you're at a grocery store, I tend to see them in the candy aisle sometimes. They're like that old-fashioned... Um, area where you find the peanuts and not real peanuts, the orange yummy candy peanuts. <laughs> um, Rebecca just got to work and she's tuning in from New Jersey. Hey Rebecca, thanks for tuning in. We're making cream cheese lime mints and they're just kind of hard on the outside and ooey gooey on the inside. They are very yummy. Mm -hmm. oh, you really so just can't have one. Like if you like cheesecake, yeah, if you like cheesecake, you'll this love is minty this. cheesecake, but it's, it's kind of like a crunch, yeah. So I'm just heating up, creaming this cream cheese that should be set out at room temperature, so it's really easy to blend. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. All right, and then I'm just going to add one cup of powdered sugar. And just to let you know, when you go to the grocery store, we're going to be using a whole bag of powdered sugar, which is two pounds, and uh, which could be like icing sugar for some of you guys, 10x powdered sugar. 
but um, we're just blending all this together. Rebecca says this would be cute for a baby shower. Which yes. We've seen these at baby showers before. Yes, totally. In the South. Easter is coming up, and I dyed them like light pastel colors, which I think are great. And uh, it's got some powdered sugar on there, but don't worry. So yeah, adding a little mint extract, and the recipe will be at the end of this video, or maybe uh, Sweet has posted that right now. It's on my website, lovelyladycakes.com. Ooh, that smells good. We just added the mint, guys. And I just got my mint from the grocery store. If you wanted, you can muddle some fresh mint. Just throw it in there. Um, yeah. So now I'm going to add some uh, lime zest from my lime to just give it a little more bump. I've got, it looks like a cheese grater. I have another really cool microplane, but since I've moved, um, I really can't find that. It got lost. I don't know where it went, but I love microplanes. But right now, cheese grater works, you know? Yeah. Oh, it smells good. Do you guys like using, uh, like, the zest of lemons or limes? Like, if you make a lemon bar, lemon cheesecake, and it asks for... A teaspoon of lemon juice. Be your own chef and add the zest as well. It's pretty fun. Tracy says, South Africa, hello everyone. Whoa, thanks for tuning in. Hazel is hi from Santa Fe, New Mexico. Hi from New Mexico. Also, um, not only do I run my lovely Lady Cakes channel, which is desserts and just like sweet goodness, I am a new business owner. And if you are a breastfeeding mama out there, yeah, we're going there. I'm making a lactation cookie. It's called Boob Food, so go find it. And um, they taste really yummy. So not only go like lovely lady cakes, go find Boob Food. And my cookies are, right now, mamas are ordering some more because they're saying they're getting about five ounces more breast milk. So if you have a new baby, I would check it out. Yes. That's I'm, not what we're making now. But everybody. that's not what we're making now. These are. Uh, this is my last live event, so I just wanted to let you guys know where to find me, because I don't want to forget. I don't want to lose you guys. I'll be I'll be doing more live videos on my channel. All right, so putting in some lime juice to bump this recipe up. Ooh, it smells good. Dina and then says put hi. This... I like what you do. I'm watching from the Philippines. Thank you guys. Yay. And everybody, the ingredients and recipe will be included at the end of the video. So just or you stay can go tuned. to lovelylatycakes.com. It's the very first recipe on the recipe page. And you can copy and paste it and print it up and all that fun stuff. All right. So what we have in here is just cream cheese, mint extract, and some lime zest. And yes, this is almost two pounds of powdered sugar. These... That's this is what makes it good. Um, this is what makes it taste so yummy. I mean, when sugar. you go to a restaurant and after you eat dinner, they give you that little dinner mint, right? You have no idea what and how much powdered sugar or sugar went into those. This it is... It takes all the, that. You're doing it now. Wee little things. Yeah. So I'm going to do it in two parts so it doesn't get too crazy and explode around here. There we go. So yeah, since this is our live, live feed... Last, Last live feed. <laughs> um, what was one of your favorite things that I've made if you've been following me? I've made a lot of desserts on here. I'm trying to think what was my favorite one to make. Damon, got any I favorites? can tell you what my least favorite was. Oh, least favorite. That's the best. <laughs> least favorite, I think, was like third video into the live feed for Sweeten. And we made cannolis. <laughs> Was it that was, the one Yeah, you it was a complete disaster. We made uh, a fresh ricotta cheese on that stove, and it started boiling over. The smoke alarm almost went off. So from now then on, I never used the stove again. <laughs> just limited basis. Yeah. But, you know, trial and error. Even though I had made it, like, the night before, it... Someone asked, what is that candy question mark? And yes, you're right, it is a candy. Yes, if you're just tuning in, we're making cream cheese Here in Texas, mix. you see these at weddings, baby showers, yes. they're a little bite size. You can put them in your Easter eggs for your kiddos, uh, all the friends at school or something. Great idea instead of buying a whole bunch of candy. Um, but yeah, I made them pastel colors. And they have like a real soft center and a nice 
um, crunch on the outside because they've been sitting out overnight. So they kind of dry out. But for my last video, I thought it would be appropriate to do something that was like, my husband loves it. We see it at all kinds of family events. Mostly my husband always wants it in his stocking stuffers at Christmas. <laughs> He loves these Just to things. snack on at Christmas. You love That's these mint things. They're so good. We also... Yeah. Sure. Anybody? What What kind of was your favorite? Ooh. What was your favorite recipe I've ever made? I think I have powdered sugar all over me. <laughs> Anybody? Anybody? I, I wish they had that? smell vision because it smells yes. so good. Yes. Good. Okay, so that's, that's the basis of how to make this good stuff, right? I always find like making it looks tricky, so I wanted to show you guys, but it's really just adding a whole bunch of stuff. So, next, it's hard, and you want to divide it into four bowls. Wink. This is probably the, the hardest part. I'm just going to do one. But you want to divide it into four bowls so you can get four fun colors. You be the judge of whatever color. What color should we do? Let's see. Who do you guys think? There's our four to choose from. Which one should we Easter do first? Easter fun colors. Ann says hi from Kuwait and I love you. Thanks hi. for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in, guys. All right. What, what color should we go first, everybody? This is live. Any, anybody chooses. I'm going to move this so we get some more room. First person. Who's the first person? Oh, Nicole says blue. Nicole. All right, then, then, and on. And Nicole. Emma said blue. Awesome. And Emma, I love those names. Okay. So, as I said, you would divide that mixture into four bowls. We're just going to do one right now. And it is hard to do it because it's all nice and, you know, come together. And, uh, but if you touch it, it kind of will stick to you. So, after we dye each one... Uh, a color, we're going to stick this in the refrigerator for like 30 to 30 minutes to an hour so they'll get nice and hard because we want to work with our hands and um, not let it stick. But you know what? This looks pretty good. It's nice and sticky. Okay, so that's uh, blue. Um, but Tasneem says this is exactly what I need for my son's birthday. There you go. Take photos and send it to Lovely Lady Cake. Yes, so take your photos. Snap, share it. Snap me at Snapchat. I'm on Instagram, Lovely Lady Cake. All that fun stuff. I love to see you guys, all your work that you do. All right, so in Movie Magic, this has been in the refrigerator for overnight because I did it yesterday. But all you need is about 30 minutes. And in a pan, I've got some powdered sugar here. So just sprinkle a little bit down. You're going to roll a ball. Put that right on top of your powdered sugar. Dink. So this is what you're going to do with all four. So again, I'm all about getting the kids in the kitchen. Because I'm a mom. You need to like, you know, sensory play. They're getting crazy. This is the perfect thing to do. Make them roll the balls for you. Right? Make them roll the balls. So yeah, any size. I say about an inch quarter of an inch. That one's a little bit smaller. You know, we're human. Things aren't going to be the same. <laughs> and then I like this technique that uh, Mom Time Out, I think her name is, uh, did. She got a fork and just put in a little powdered sugar and pressed down on top. Didn't get enough powdered sugar. But anyways, you're getting kind of like you do when you do with um, peanut butter cookies. And the powdered sugar on top will eventually, uh, you know, go away. Because, Dust off. Yeah. It kind of absorbs into the cute little mint. Oh, uh, I think I noticed mine have a little powdered sugar on top because I have a little too much powdered sugar on here. Um, so these are going to actually sit out at room temperature for two hours. Just put them, you know, off to the side. And then walk back over there and you're going to flip them over because you want the bottoms to harden up as well. So when you flip them, maybe do it on less of powdered sugar. Like You probably just need a parchment paper. It'll be just fine. Because I noticed when I flipped them over into the powdered sugar, they got powdered sugar on top of them. So, um, <laughs> Which is totally fine. It tastes fine. Yeah. Just you not. can also put these in candy molds. Yes, you can. You can put these in candy molds. Um, sometimes.
sometimes candy molds just frustrate me because when you push them out and stuff, but they would need a long time, probably like eight hours to harden up in those candy molds because the air isn't really touching the bottom. And um, yeah, look at this. I've got pink, I've got blue. What's your favorite color? <laughs> this is just so fun. I really think that's a great idea is put them in um, your kids' Easter eggs instead of buying a bunch of random candy. Just don't let them sit out too long or they will get a melty mess yeah, in the sun. Yeah, if it's a sunny day, that's not a good idea. Maybe an Easter egg hunt around the house. <laughs> Maria says pink. Emma says blue. Love it. Favorite colors. I'm loving pink right now. So yeah, just pressing them down with a fork. And like I said, if you're just tuning in, these are going to sit out at room temperature for two hours. And then you're going to flip them, maybe on a clean parchment paper. You'll flip them for another two hours, and they'll be hard, and they'll look something along the lines of this. They're, the, no, they're nice and hard. Andrea's like, I wonder how it tastes like. Oh, it's so delicious. The lime and the mint together are really, really good. If you can imagine like a cream cheese cake. Cream that's a little bit harder. Cream cheesy mint. With a little mint flavor in it. Exactly. That's what like, it tastes like. Like those mints that melt in your mouth. This is kind of like that. So good. Yay, doing yellow. Kabita says red. Andrea says green. Yes. I Ellie love says it. hello from Panama. Hello, Ellie. I like that name. Ellie. Wow. I can't believe this is our last event, live event. That's so sad. I don't want to say bye. But guys, since it is our last live event, if you do follow me a lot, go make sure you follow me on my Facebook page. Because I'm doing all kinds of fun things. I might start doing some live. I do do some live videos on there. But not as consistently as well, I do. Well, because we've been doing it on Sweden. So yeah. We'll have to... So, we'll do that. And then, you know, follow me. Take some photos. I want to see you guys' photos. I really just love when you guys actually get inspired by me. You know? Like, <laughs> come on. I want to see it. Yay. Imad says thank you. Thank you, Fidelis Imad. says hi from Florida. Hey guys, hey. So yeah, we just finished up. We wrapped it up. These cute little cream cheese lime mints, yes. guys. Let me just eat one. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, after dinner mint. It's like you made it. It's homemade. I love it. So please follow me. Thank you so much for this great opportunity to be on Sweetened. Thank you, Sweetened and Taste Made. And please follow me also on Boob Food, which I am creating a lactation cookie for nursing mamas. There's the cute little cookie right there. And it's supposed to help increase your breast milk up to five ounces. So tell all your mommy friends. These are great um, baby shower gifts. And if you're in Dallas, I'm going to be at the biggest baby shower in Dallas, April 6th. So come find my booth and I'll give you free cookies. Okay, thanks so much. I'm Anna with Lovely Lady Cakes.